Well, this is going to be a big fail because I have no idea why. I don't know if it's because of the jojoba oil, which it could be because when you take your um, jewelry out, you want to clean everything. You want to massage your ears. You want to put a little bit of oil on them. Uh, and when you're tapering um, and you're moving up to the next size, you definitely want to use oil before you put your jewelry or your taper in um, to make it smoother and um, so you don't hurt yourself, hurt your ears. Because remember, you are, even if they're ready and they're already stretched, you don't want to hurt yourself because you are putting something through that hole and moving the skin out of the way. You're not cutting into anything. You're moving it out of the way. You're literally stretching it out. So anyway, I was going to do one side, um, not film it, and then do the other side. Um, unfortunately, this didn't go as planned. So I was gonna go ahead and put my taper on it because, just to make it easier to go in. Um, I wish all jewelry had a taper on the end to make it easy to go in easily, easily, more easily. So I had a little bit of tape. Let me redo the tape, put some new tape on it. Um, and I'm only gonna put it on just one wrap. Just one. I mean, literally, not, not hardly nothing, right? I'm going to wrap one time around. And again, everything's clean. I use alcohol with everything. And um, I'm going to wrap it one time around. Oh, this is a skinnier one, but the other ones I've been using. Okay, that's just one time around. One time. Maybe just, just a hair over one time just a little bit over. Now, I am going to still put a little bit of oil on just the taper part. I'm not going to put it all through everything, just a little bit. Okay, I got it in my ears. I'm going to put the taper, I can't do it, put the taper in. And nope, it ain't going. It's just, I mean, I don't want to force anything in. So I don't know if it's the, um, yeah, see? Look, the tape's coming off. That's what it is. The tape is not sticking to itself. I think because of the jojoba oil. So, I am going to get some different kind of tape and I will be back. Um, or try again and just not use any oil with it. Um, I would hate to do that, but um, my hair's looking crazy right now. Um, but... That might be what I have to do is just not use any oil. I shouldn't need any anyway. It's only one time around. Um, but like I said, we're doing this together. I've never done this before. I'm going to learn as I go. Um, first try, fail. So we will hope for a part three because it's got to be the oils that I'm using um, because I just went and got the plumber's tape and it did the same thing. As you're pushing it in, it just pops right out. It does not stay stuck to itself. So I'm going to probably try one side with no oil, which I don't really like doing that. Um, I mean, I'm literally dead stretching by holding weight on here, so I guess it shouldn't really bother me. But, um, God, I swear my hair is really going crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll try a part three um, hopefully soon. And please comment below how you guys are using the taping method because I've watched tons of videos on it. It seems really easy. Um, I'd really like to try it at least for a month to see if it works. If it doesn't work, it's no big deal. Like I said, I um, use tapers extremely easy. Um, I don't even remember if I've showed you the tapers or not, but I will do that. And also, um, I have people asking me about a um, hair tutorial. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot to tutorial, but if you want one, just let me know. I do know how to make um, real dreadlocks with your real hair. Um, I actually started my hair with um, the natural look. It's just the natural dreadlocks. Um, you just quit brushing. You wash it a little more often to get it to lock up because you want those little knots, those little knots, like the ones in the front. Um, I do know how to crochet now. I do know how to make synthetic ones. I can make, um, 
actually pretty nice ones and I also know how to put in um, wool. I have a couple of wool. Actually, I have seven fake ones because I wanted them to be different colors, but I didn't want to dye my hair. So somewhere I do have um, a couple of white ones and um, brown ones. There it is. So you can tell it looks like wool. Um, I mean, deadlocks look like wool too, but you can tell it looks different than the natural hair looks. Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, but I did learn how to crochet because I wanted to get all these um, hairs that are growing back. Um, I did get a lot of bald spots from being sick and I wanted to um, add some locks to that little tiny hair and I did that and um, I got really good at it. So if you do you want a tutorial, let me know. Um, I don't do a whole lot to mine, obviously. It's always a mess, but um, I can. And if you want to see that, just let me know and we'll do that too. But anyway, please give me the comments on how you guys do your ears if you are stretching and if you're not stretching and you want a tutorial on how I actually do mine, um, where I've done mine up to the point they are now, um, where it's very easy. I have not felt any pain and um, I personally think it's the best method. And if you want to see me do that, I can actually probably stretch up to the next one now and we'll do that. And right now they are at a 10 uh, millimeter, which is a zero zero. Um, I think that is the point where most people are afraid to pass. But um, yeah, I don't think uh, you have to worry about what not to go above. I mean, you don't even know. Nobody really knows where their ears are at the point of no return because somewhere out there, people say they have a point of no return where they can't take their earrings out and go back. I think that's very, very large ears. I don't think um, zero zeros or, you know, the next couple of sizes up are that point, but your ears could be different than mine. So if you want that, let me know. And I will be back with a number three number two, number three, to see if we can figure out how to use tape. Thanks. See ya.